You know, Chief Robert Taylor, the probation department, all the men, members of the department behind me, okay? Today marks the 10th anniversary of a very tragic event that took place in the county of Los Angeles when a man who had been released from the state of Washington's penitentiary visited Los Angeles County, murdered a postal worker in Chatsworth, and then went to the Granada Hills Jewish Center and shot up the center. After that tragic event, we reviewed policies within the county of Los Angeles and found that probationers who are released many times retain their weapons. And so we want to have a, an aggressive program in the county of Los Angeles to correct that, that problem. So we created a program called Disarm, <clears throat> working with the probation department and the sheriff's department. It's a multi-agency effort led by the probation department to perform unannounced searches of those individuals on probation. This past month of July, we arrested 145 and confiscated 127 weapons, including assault weapons, handguns, and shotguns, rifles, nearly $100,000 in illegal drugs, and as, it, as I said, these were unannounced searches of those homes. This program, since 2000, February 2000, when it became operational, has had a tremendous impact in keeping our streets safer and our community safer. We have removed nearly 6,000 weapons from gangbangers and those on probation. And again, we're talking about assault weapons, rifles, handguns, shotguns. We've also arrested nearly 12,000, uh, nearly uh, $300 million in legal drugs and drug money. When this began in 2002, we had 55% of those on probation were found to be outside of compliance of the law, many of them having the arms in their possession. Because of this program, which is moving forward, today we now have less than 10% of probationers who are out of compliance. Because the word is spreading, if you can retain these guns in your homes, you're going back to, the, to jail. And it's been a very effective program, and it's one that is, came out of a very tragic situation when we lost life and people were shot unmercifully by a man from the state of Washington who came here and illegally possessed guns which he was not permitted to have in creating these crimes. Now I'd like to introduce Robert Taylor, Chief of Probation, uh, to make a couple comments. Thank you, Su uh, Supervisor. I think this is a, a good news, bad news uh, story. The good news is that a lot of guns are being taken off the street. And the other part of good news is that there are a lot of probationers that are in compliance. 90% are in compliance, only 10% are not in compliance. The bad news size of this is that there are still too many guns in the hands of criminals in our community. And there are too many young people who fall victims to homicide because of these guns being on the street. I really want to thank uh, Supervisor Antonovich for his vision a decade ago because what he has done is really create a program that should be a model for other states and certainly for other communities in California. And if there's a challenge I'd like to throw out there, it's for the other communities to join Los Angeles County in getting these guns off the street. Thank you. Any questions? Given the uh, trickle-down pain of the state budget crisis, how's the funding for this program? Well, right now, uh, the county's budget, because of uh, prudent fiscal responsibilities and our employees uh, taking a no salary increase, holding the line, and we've been able to maintain our operations, keeping officers on the street, probation officers working. Our problem is the state of California's budget. The county of Los Angeles is able to prepare for a rainy day because we've had a prudent reserve but we are not prepared for a tsunami. And the state legislature has failed the people by failing to hold their budget in a compliance like every other city and county must do in having a balanced budget. You can't spend more money than revenues coming in. And they failed to abide by that policy. And as a result, every city and county's programs is threatened by the failure of the state of California in passing a budget that was responsible and allowing us to retain public safety as a top priority for our services in this state. So this is, uh, what is this one? Uh, I didn't have this when I was in the Army. We rolled up. Can you tell us which one that is? What is this one? 
What, what is it? Uh, sir, it's a Walter G22, a 22 caliber semi automatic rifle. Okay. Where'd you get that? Uh, one of the uh, probation sweeps that we did. But by law, are, is the probation department allowed to unannounced search and seizure in the homes of probationers? Yes, the condition of uh, probation is that you have to be available for a search 24 hours a day on your property, person, and as a result, that's for your compliance if you're going to be on probation. So they abide by that uh, regulation, but we find that those who want to break the law will continue to break the law, and we have this program to confiscate these weapons, which have saved, you know, these nearly 6,000 weapons have been confiscated. You can rest assured thousands of people have had their lives saved uh, because of this action. What becomes of these weapons? I think they're melted down. They, they get destroyed. We turn them in with the uh, Sheriff's Department cache of weapons and then they're taken out and melted down. That looks like a weapon that would be illegal for just about anybody to have, right? Is that probationer or not? Uh, ac actually, the weapon is actually legal. Uh, you can be purchased. However, uh, due to the condition of probably what the probation was uh, in violation of, the weapon was seized. But some of these weapons are not legal, like this. That's a fully automatic. That's an Uzi. Was that a Tech 9 or? Uzi. Uzi. Don't point that thing over here. <laughs> <laughs> Product of China. So what's, what's the biggest uh, a challenge to this program right now? The biggest challenge would be to ensure that 100% of our probationers uh, have these types of uh, visitations, and uh, that's the challenge. Uh, we can meet that challenge if we have the resources, but until we find the state of California's willingness to have a balanced budget so that local governments can do their job, uh, everything is in a uh, precarious state. 90%, is that, is that considered? Pretty darn good, though, for compliance. I mean, this well, when you start at 55 percent out of compliance, today 10 percent. That's a major, major uh, accomplishment, and the men and women behind me are responsible for uh, saving those lives and making those on probation responsible, uh, so that they'll learn to abide by the rules and regulations and hopefully become productive citizens instead of uh, inmates in our penal institutions. Okay, thank you very much. I want to thank the probation department for a superb job.